fearing God, fearing Filipino, and you are not into something which is destructive to your fellow men. You have absolutely nothing. I will die for you. Mahirap sir, halos araw-araw na hindi ko alam kung makakabalik pa ako ng buhay. Iniisip ko yung pamilya ko lagi. Pag hindi masyadong busy, yun, tatawag ako. Para, para hindi sila magkalala pag medyo tahimik. Yun. Hirap yung malayo, malayo sa kanila. Eh, maliliit pa yung anak ko kaya mahirap kung iiwanan ko agad sila. Eh. Pero kaya naman. Kaya. I'm very proud po kasi makakasama na po namin siya. Tsaka nakauwi po siya ng safe. Anong mga panahon na lumalabas sa Tagera? Gano'ng kahirap pa ako po sa'yo? Sobrang hirap po eh kasi may mga time na kausap ko siya na utukan. Talagang pinagpipray po namin na maging okay po siya doon po. Maging okay po silang lahat po doon. po hindi nito sa kalaman ng uh, uh, mga iba. Uh, nandun po ang Naval Air Group providing also close air support to our troops. Uh, Nagpagsap din po kami doon ng mga rockets and uh, 50 calibers given by uh, given specific targets to hit. And uh, fortunately, we were able to support our troops uh, kahit na medyo pagod na kami ka, makaraming lipat namin doon. Basta tumawag sila sa amin ng suporta. Uh, we are there to uh, provide them with the uh, close air support they are uh, highly needy, lalo na sila yung nasa front line and uh, para naman ma-ease yung kanilang uh, pressure sa kanila ng kalaban, kami naman ay nag-suppress ng from the air and uh, yun nga at tulong sa tropa ang aming ano, ang uh, paglipad doon. Uh, Siyempre masaya at uh, tapos na yung gera, uh, we're Ba, uh, binabalik na natin sa normal ang ating mga buhay-buhay. But then again, we're going to continue with our training uh, para mapagpatuloy pa rin namin mahasa ang aming mga skills. At uh, yun, para sa Pilipino, pagka kinailangan kami, handa kami at uh, nandyan pa rin kami. When I visited the hospital in Cagayan de Oro City, I was struck by one of our marine soldier wounded. Would you believe he was having a sort of discussion with the medical officer because he wanted to return against the advice of the medical officer. That's the, uh, well, the bravery, the dedication displayed by our sailors and marines that uh, really touched me as their Navy chief. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the pride of the Philippine Navy and the heroes of the Filipino people. And with their presence today, allow me to share with you that half, or probably more, of the success of the Marawi battle were the significant accomplishments contributed by these sailors and marines. Our naval intelligence operatives provided the critical information on the whereabouts of the leaders of the terrorist group at the very start up to the end of the Marawi siege. Our Marine Battalion Landing Teams, the Marine Special Operations Group, 
and the Naval Special Operations Group were among the first responders to thwart the execution of the multi grand plan of establishing a caliphate in Marawi Sea. In addition to MBLP Ken here, we also have our Marine Battalion Latin Team 7 that were responsible in conquering the three critical entrances to the main battle area. These were the Mapandi, Mongolo, and Masiu bridges. Our pilots for their Augusta helicopters provided the aerial intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations, and the airstrikes day and night to support the Ukrainian ground troops. Also, it was our SEAL teams and their boat teams, members of the SAP Naval Special Operations Group units, that sealed off the city by providing continuous maritime patrols and interdiction operations in Lake Lanao. This prevented the use of the lake as a logistics highway, an entrance for reinforcement, and an escape route from the main battle area. To all of you, sailors and marines, our heroes, we are all very happy to welcome you back. On behalf of the Philippine Navy, I thank you for giving glory to our organization and more importantly, for the selfless sacrifice, dedication, bravery, and professionalism you exemplarily displayed in order to liberate Marawi City. I commend and salute you for bringing hope and inspiration not only to your comrades, but to all our Filipino people. able to neutralize the suspects of the Carlos Abantan kidnapping for ransom case, which was reported to them last, reported to the AKG, last October 21, 2017, by Mr. Raymond Tan, the victim's uncle and co-junket operator at Resorts World, Manila. In the afternoon of October 27, 2017, another suspect in the person of SP-1, Benjamin Pagirigan, assigned at District Support Service of QCPD, voluntarily surrendered to the PNP AKG for his alleged involvement in the kidnapping of Mr. Carlos Tan and John Nico Hison. Several other persons of interest are presently being investigated by the PNP AKG. The suspects initially demanded 50 million pesos, which were later reduced to 10 million in exchange for their release. Based on the revelation of the driver and the results of backtracking, the PNP AKG operatives conducted follow-up operation in Tagaytay City. However, in the evening of October 23, 2017, they were informed by Tagaytay CPS personnel that a cadaver was found at around 4.30 p.m. of the same day at Pinaglintikan Bridge along Tagaytay Road, Barangay San Jose, Tagaytay City. Mr. Raymond Tan, the uncle of victim, positively identified the cadaver of his, as his nephew, Mr. Carlos Tan. Operatives of PNP AKG chance upon the suspects on board Silver Mitsubishi Adventure with plate number ABQ6451. The operatives immediately approached the suspects, but instead of yielding, suspects suddenly fired at them, which prompted the operatives to fire back that resulted in the death of four suspects identified as follows. Number one, Piotr Rodel Istunaktok, assigned at QCPD. Number two, P1 Ramel Espio E. Opulente, drop from rolls of uh, Rizal PPO. Erwin Escobedo, civilian ito, from Iloilo. A certain alias Taba, which uh, later on identified as 
XPO1 Rolando Albios PNP AKG operatives have rescued in good condition kidnap victims Rajib Kumar 11 years old Glenn, 11? Bata? And a resident of village East Executive, Executive Homes Kainta Rizal and his driver Rinaldo Lagajo last October 27, 2017. <coughs> the duo were kidnapped last October 26, 2017 and ransom of 30 million was initially demanded. In the evening, payoff operation of Rafael de Jesus. In the evening, the payoff operation, one Rafael de Jesus was arrested. Saan ito Rafael de Jesus ngayon? Ito. Ikaw yung Rafael de Jesus? Si Pagiria. Ito, Rafael de Jesus. Another case ito. Ito yung polis, si Pagirigan. Itong dito, iba-ibang kaso ito. Yung sa junkie operator to. Ito naman, itong bata na kinidab na. Rafael de Jesus, ikaw. Was arrested on October 27, 2017 at Bistik Village, Quirino Highway, Quezon City. AKG operatives are tracking Three more suspects who were identified by the arrested Rafael de Jesus. The case was inquested last night to Honorable Richard Anthony Fadulion, which included three at-large suspects, namely... Uh, delicious. <laughs>